I know that we would never work I know that someone would get hurt I think I have to let you go Should be easy But it's not Cause the problem is I love you What to do Hello everyone It's day one of this amazing eight weeks journey and it is week one and i'm just starting up with my first day i've had my hot water with some soft ajwain and jeera and i'm off to my workout the workout that i'm following is cardio 20 minutes upper body and leg 10 10 minutes and finally yoga for the first day i'm actually following the same drill the sequential workout that we have gone in our ggt fit uh, workout section so all of the eight weeks people are following this sectional workout pattern that helps you work on your whole body entirely so this is how all of them are doing from ggt fit uh, app and now we are just done with the workout and i'll head to make sure that I have a lot of water. Hydration is the habit that we have to develop for this week. And we have also her habit tracker that you must have seen in my previous video where I have set this uh, habit tracker, got the printout and I'm just keeping it as a monitor to track my water intake. And it is really, really worth it because when I see this every day, I came to know that I am not having that much of water. Just drenched in workout. Day one is done. I like this. But yeah, I feel so happy going for just a shower and So, I'll, so what this is what I'm doing, I'm just reading out uh, one small para or a, you know, a line from a book that I read. I read like a lot of uh, self-help books, nutrition books, that food, uh, culture, that is what I read. Aging refers to changes that occur over time to both organisms and objects. These changes aren't necessarily negative. In fact, although humans and most other organisms become dysfunctional in, old, dysfunctional in old age, growing older can actually bring improvements as well. For example, New York Marathon winners are typically in their 30s and many of the top finishers are in their 40s. This suggests that there is an overall positive changes in human body associated with aging. So why do we age? Clearly, every object around us, from houses to cars, gets old and deteriorates. So perhaps a better question to this is, why wouldn't human and all other organisms also age and die? Yes, I'll do this practice. Like every day, I'm going to read out something uh, to you so that you get like an uh, perspective of something to learn and grow heading towards the day i'm going to have uh, these nuts because i follow intermittent fasting so i just begin with a few of these nuts and then followed by sprouts yummy tasty just uh, sorted in few spices also i have like a lot of coconut and this is probably the first meal of my day so I'm not actually recording all meals of my day, but uh, yes, trying to get better. I also share a few of the recipes if I can on my channel. Also, I'm taking like 30 days home-based eating challenge. There I share a few of the important meals that I take. Rest, if I'm not showing it, that means it's not that um, exquisite or different. I'm just having regular roti, dal, sabzi, uh, rice, all those meals. When I'm making something different, I'll definitely share that recipe in this video as well. 
and then followed by my first meal i am going to just take a walk and i have like lot of work to finish lot of meetings are lined up lot of you know stuff to be delivered on time and i have so many things to do usually uh you know your work does not let you move so i make sure that uh if i'm sitting for a long period of time i just wake up and move a little bit and then sit down again so this is how i work and i understand for freelancers like me who work from their home it's hard to follow a routine but that is very very important the second major meal i'm going with this uh, rice dal and some parval sabzi in between i had my fruit chaat fruit salad which i really love but was unable to record Hello everyone. So day one is completed, and today we did lot of things, but also completed around ten thousand step. That is a very great thing to do because your metabolism gets improved with that. So ten thousand steps done, and yes, I'll try to increase it more and more. Hydration के लिए I'll just share कि क्या stage है. टू टाइम्स मोर सो यस अभी इट्स टेन थर्टी प्रॉब्लम आई हैव टू मोर टाइम्स आई हैव वॉटर सो दैट विल ऑल्सो बी अचीव सो वी आर गुड टू गो फॉर टूडे आई सी यू टू मोरो it's day 2 and i have a long day today i have shoot lot of meetings work so i have to like plan everything i this is what i do i sit and write everything that i have to do today and make sure that it gets executed so in morning with my morning drink this is the first thing that i do and followed by workouts because when you have a hectic day you don't know you will get the time to work out in evening so i try to finish it in the first place uh, in the morning itself and uh, every day we have like a different kind of sequential workouts this day we have cardio abs toning and yoga all divided in the like in a very sequential way this is how the gt fit workouts are divided for 8 weeks that is focusing on whole body and yes i really really like you know doing those workouts second day is little bit harder than the first day because there is a little bit of soreness not that much still you get better so stretching plays a very important role cool down is very very important again so make sure of that if you are doing any kind of workout routine make sure that you have a good warm up stretching done before and cool down done after that because that plays a very very huge role in whatever workout that you are doing it will uh, avoid injuries and it will help you get less soreness than regular and you will be able to move more so this is very important and um, all of my workouts are designed in such a way that gives you the benefits um when it comes to your whole body and not just a particular part so we are just done uh, with the workout and this is what i do i don't know about everybody else but i do this whenever i'm done with the workout i just check out my body and it's kind of a weird habit and uh, i i don't uh, weigh myself but i do this i just check out my body is there any difference i know there will be no difference in this um only two days but still i check it out and now i'm ready for you know going for my work i am having my black coffee i have black coffee like 2 to 3 times a week for energy and uh, i am going for work uh, i am going to like you know do a lot of shoot today for my content and now after that the first meal that i'm going to enjoy is this that is saute mushroom my favorite very easy to prepare like you know very quick very easy very basic now i'm back home and i tell you it was a long very long hectic day i'm back at yeah 6 o'clock at night it's too late so it's like whole day was gone uh, in work and i was not able to shoot anything proper but yes um, this is an important practice that we do I am going to read out some important lines.
Accept your genetic blueprint just as a person with a shoe size of 8 would not expect to realistically squeeze into size 6. It is easy, equally futile to have the same expectation about the body size. But mostly, respect your body so that you can feel better about who you are. It's hard to reject the diet mentality if you are unrealistic and critical about your body size or shape. All bodies deserve dignity. So today I had like this orange juice but I was so busy that I had to have it in my car and then uh, the dinner was simple roti, sabzi, dal, very basic, nothing much and I decided to read more when uh, like before my bedtime. I avoid using my phone, this is important and it makes me feel happy, satisfied and sleepy at the very same time. Now day three is again fun i was having a lot of uh, soreness because i think i did a lot of things i pushed my boundaries i did more more and more number of steps and uh, you know also i think i went i was it was a very hectic day yesterday so i made sure that um, you know i do the workouts today because if i if i don't do it today the soreness will be much more so yes, I just pushed myself a bit and followed the complete sequential workout. It was very much fun and engaging, followed by a detailed uh, meditation session and, you know, breathing exercises that I did that made me feel so happy. All my stress, my pain, the soreness was gone because it relieved it all and this is our space this is my terrace garden my mom has to take complete credit of this beauty uh, this is my happy place for sure i feel so happy being here and if i have time in my morning routine definitely for 10 to 15 minutes i just sit by myself do nothing and just enjoy the vibe it's so beautiful so calming gives me a lot of oxygen we have this beautiful space that i think uh, makes me feel closer to my self my body and my own soul I, I just don't think about anything that's going around in the world i'm just thinking about myself and i feel happy about it now uh, it's time for us to cook i also am shooting for this particular recipe because it's really tasty it's very quick as well so here is a certain saute vegetable broccoli zucchini mushrooms sauteed in garlic and then added some chili flakes and here is some bo soaked and boiled chickpeas for protein then also added some tofu you can also add paneer uh, for protein and then uh, some sauce that's again very very yummy sauce uh, it gives this complete recipe a chinese touch and uh, this has like a jaggery soy sauce uh, chili flakes sesame seeds topping it with some beans and i tell you that this is one of the most tasty and amazing recipes i really really like it it's very easy to make as well and one bowl recipe giving you enough protein so I wanted to share it with all of you so that you can also make it for yourself. Every time I make a different kind of a recipe which is not regular, uh, usual as we are eating, then I, I wanted to share with all of you. Moving ahead, as there were so many already done saute vegetables were there, I decided to prepare myself these millets. Uh, millets, I'm using foxtail millets here and lot with a lot of vegetables and curd. Hi everybody, so finally day 3 has been done and today was a good day uh, but I was not able to achieve as many number of steps as we targeted because I had like a lot of things to catch up and I was not able to reach my step goal and that's sad however, um, I'm good with the workouts, I'm quite regular with it also keeping up with the hydration again with the number of glasses um, I'm able to drink like you know if they were seven eight half classes so i was able to achieve like four five classes a day so that is again good but yeah trying to get better will improve tomorrow so yes it's my reading time then i'm going to read for all of you and uh, but this time it's not from any book it's from my own diary 
and i think it will make sense to everybody i i, I hope i have written something for everybody and i'll post it very soon as well so yeah it is like we are always looking ourselves from someone else's perspective someone calls us fat we believe that someone calls us thin we believe that someone calls us short so they define what we should exactly feel about our body and so they derive our confidence too because you don't derive it for yourself and hence that's a problem so yes this is a little thought i i have a like this kind of a diary where i write and pin down my thoughts i have like graphs also a lot of things wherein uh, we i i like write it down i make my own set of psychological graphs and lot of thoughts that comes into my mind that has helped me so yes this is something that is very close to me and a part of which i shared just now so yes i'm done for day 3 i hope you are done too and you are liking it you are enjoying it and we'll see you tomorrow bye bye good night So day four is already here. Let's push those boundaries and get some extra weight gain results. Here we are doing some high intensity interval training, some cardio, abs, and doing some like extra weight gain workout today. And this is how the GDT Fit workouts are planned. We move the intensity throughout the week as well, apart from the different intensity workouts that we have. The sequential workouts are also designed in such a way that you get better with the form. And like I just want to plug in here that if you are someone who is looking to work out with me, you can also join my 90 days program that's live right now. uh you can definitely be a part of it so that you can do at least the workouts with us follow the meal plan do it under the right guidance because when you have a right guidance and do it according to you this is actually motivating so yes um, all my lovelies have been doing great and now today for the first meal we have such a amazing thing prepared these are chickpea cutlets then we have suji hanwo and some nuts that was my first meal followed by a very intense walk i am focusing on at least going for 3 kilometers uh, walking that means at least 40 minutes of walk after i'm done with my first meal because i don't have my shoots today so i'm trying to push as much as i can uh, and only after when i have time so when i have time instead of sitting and lying and lazing and boozing around it's better to move and walk the decisions we make right now will determine which of the futures we create and this is important preventing disease and disability is possibly the single most impactful thing we can do to avert a global crisis participated by climate change crippling economic burdens and future social upheavals we have to get this right because there is no more sequential consequential choice in the history of a species because there has been no more consequential choice in the history of a species book life span why we age and why we don't have to then evening again i went for a walk with my brother it is like such a beautiful place nearby my home where we walk we run do our exercise and all those stuff but we don't come here that often nowadays yes so uh, we went for like you know 5 kilometers walk it was fun easy and i really enjoyed it followed by a yummy dinner yummy mixed vegetable and he's also taking the hydration challenge if you can see <laughs> yeah so all my family is like going towards a healthier side every family has a you know time and phase when they go all unhealthy or they go go all healthy so yeah now moving on to day 5 again today would be much more uh of a day where we will be keeping it high in movement because we know saturday sunday we are not going to do any ex rigorous workouts we just going for walks and doing the basic relaxing exercises i am not going to do anything on saturday and sunday because rest plays a very important role and that is huge and i can only like already see a lot of you know improvements in my body and with all my clients i can now know that they get some great results with rest 
and here is my body update if you can see the first day and in day five you can see that there is a good difference in my body because i i show up results very very quickly so you can see i am getting there and getting better every day i i feel that um, you know a lot of bloating has been reduced and uh, a little bit of toning has improved i know not that much significant but still i can feel that there is a difference and i really feel happy about it i talk to my body i feel happy about it and i'm sharing it with all of you because you are my community and i know that you get inspired by this so i want you to get inspired move yourself so that you can also talk to your bodies and feel confident about it and yes after that i am just done i get ready and then follow by with lot of work that i have i definitely would love to share some thoughts from the book before that so the most telling sign that there is a strong connection between the gut and the memory is the composition of gut bacteria changes in patient afflicted with several memory related diseases for instance parkinson disease patient like uh, brian there is a dig- significant decrease 77.6% of specific gut bacteria and microbes of uh, microbiomes of alzheimer patients have decreased permicutis and some by phi do bacterium so there is a relationship that can also run other way which means any change in gut bacteria altering the course of these brain related disease done with my work and now i'm enjoying my nariyal pani again one of the thing that has actually helped me in last few days with the quality of my hair so i am just having them regularly uh, without a fail so yes one nariyal pani i have it not like daily but two to three times or four times sometimes a week and today what we are going to make is very tasty pasta i was craving for pasta and i really like it and pasta is not junk by the way first of all i'm using like a quinoa pasta here however that's not important the way i prepare my pasta is very like different okay so if i keep take like one cup of pasta i follow this 5 is to 1 rule where in one cup of pasta i use five cups of vegetables that is how i make uh, my pasta healthy and reduce the glycemic load of this whole dish now this dish becomes totally healthy and if you are on your weight loss journey this is something that you can definitely do i'm using bell pepper zucchini mushrooms tomatoes onions so 5 is to 1 is the ratio that i follow for my making and preparing my pasta also broccoli so yes this is how i make it very simple very easy but turns out to be really really fun and tasty so we almost 5 days are done coming ahead let's just hope and pray for the most amazing weeks and most amazing days let's keep our motivation high and the vlog is to be continued